What is up Blender fans, in this video I'm going to show you a ton of free add-ons and tricks to speed up your Blender workflow, so if you watch till the end you'll be operating like a machine. If you end up liking this video be sure to subscribe and like the video, and if you want a chance of a shout out at the end of my next video make sure to follow my Instagram and comment something nice below. Alright so the first add-on is called Select Panel which is pretty self explanatory. So you can go to the side and you get a select menu so when you go into edit mode you get a bunch of extra options like for example you can select it all none and there's some really cool stuff on here for example this loop one so sometimes just holding shift out is a bit funny which way you want it to go so if I wanted to, to go the other way so in those times you can click two vertices and set and hit loop and that way it guarantees the loop you want and of course there's a bunch of other cool stuff here like linked which is really useful and some cleanup uh, stuff so if you want to download this you can go to the link in the description and then you can select code and hit download zip so after you extract the zip you can go to edit and preferences and then you can install the .python file that's inside the folder. This next add-on is for texturing and it's called Lily's Surface Scrapper. And let me tell you, this add-on is an absolute game changer. So basically what it allows you to do is automate your materials. So you can go to the materials panel and then you have a bunch of sources. So you can click on one. I'm going to use CCO Textures. So click on it and it will bring up the web page. So now what you can do is get any texture, so I'm just going to pick a random wood one, so I'll search for wood, and let's say I like this one here. So all you have to do is go and copy the URL, so hit Control C, and then head back to Blender. And now you can hit Import from Clipboard, and now if you just give it a little while, and select the variant, I'll just do 2K, and hit OK. You just give it a little while and it will install the textures automatically for you. So as you can see if I go into look dev mode, the texture is already set up on there with all the nodes. To install this add-on it is the exact same as the last one. So all you have to do is go follow the link in the description and hit code and download zip. The only difference is make sure you do not extract the zip file otherwise it won't work for this one. Alright, this next one is not an add-on, this one is a render farm called Sheepit. And unlike most other render farms, this one is free. So the way this works is, say you're having lunch and your computer's just sitting there, instead of it doing nothing, you can get it to render other people's projects and you accumulate points. So, and then you can use those points and put on your own projects and other people will render yours. So of course this means you can render your projects really quickly um, without having to wait for it. Uh, sign up is free so you can just head to the link in the description and get an account. Now this next add-on is really simple but it can be an absolute lifesaver at times and it is called Power Save. So what you get is this really handy little icon here. So it's green right now so you know it's saved, it'll be red if it isn't saved. And then you get a bunch of uh, extra settings for your saving. For example, it can auto save it every minute. So by default, this is on two minutes. I have it set down to one. So that's really handy if Blender happens to crash and you haven't saved it. So you've got a bunch of other options here. And probably the best of all, you can power save it. So what happens when you click this is, as you can see, it power saves us into a new blend so now we have two blend copies so this is great if you're like using booleans or just doing destructive um, changes to your mesh and I could go and do it again and now we're on a second one as you can see to download this it's the exact same as everything else just go and download the zip and install it alright this next tool is called mirror tools and it allows you to create perfect curves and do a bunch of other stuff. So for example, I'm going to go and freehand a curve. So I'm just going to pull these vertices out. 
and you can see you can tell it's a curve but it's not at all perfect but we can make it perfect with the help of mirror tools so I'm going to go and select all of it and enable curve stretch and this points number will probably be on 5 for you so I'm just going to put it on 3 and now you can just hit curve stretch and click and you see we get a perfect curve and we can adjust these points here to change the curve which is really cool and of course you can do a bunch of other stuff like make arcs and or you gotta exit out of that right click first and then you got all these other options which are really cool installing mirror tools is not as straightforward but not to worry I'm gonna walk you through it so the first thing you want to do as usual is follow the link in the description so now you want to click this download link here and once it downloads go and hit show in folder so now what you want to do is right click and extract the zip file and hit extract this shouldn't take too long it's not that big of a file and there we go so now what you want to do is open it and we want blender add-ons 2.8 and don't open it but just select mirror tools and Control c to copy it or you can right click and copy so now what you want to do is go to your local disk or your c drive and select users it'll be your name and now what you want to do is go to app data if you can't see it you know, might need to go to view and select hidden items as you can see it's grayed out so open that and hit roaming and now you want to search for blender foundation and open it and now choose whatever version of blender you're using I've got multiple uh, I'm just gonna install it on 2.81 so now go to scripts add-ons and what you want to do is hit control V and paste it into here and there we go so now what you want to do is restart blender alright so now what you want to do is go to preferences and search for mirror tools and you can enable it there this next one is not an add-on but rather a piece of software for managing your reference images and it is called pure ref so I'm gonna go and open it so when it opens you can see I don't have any images here but you can or well, it needs an update but you can right click and you have a ton of options so I'm gonna load one of my previous uh, saves so it's of some rifle images I just pulled off the web while I was working on a gun model so you can see you can zoom in and you can move them around and you can right click to drag it all around and it's just really handy for viewing your reference images so you've got all these options and it's just really good to install this one you just gotta to head to this site here and go to download once that loads you can choose your platform and it wants some money but you can click custom amount and put in zero to get it for free this is really cool though so if you have some money definitely consider uh, spending some and then you can hit download thanks for watching everyone be sure to like subscribe and comment if you know any add-ons I missed I would love to hear them if you want Blender help or just to chill, you can join my Discord server. The link is down below, and I'll see you in the next video.